This is the very first time we're leaving our son uh, alone. The seat is down because we have the car seat. And here's my wife. I'm chauffeuring her. <laughs> Let's see. How does it feel? It feels very strange to be sitting back here without him. Yeah, his car seat goes right there. And this seat was kind of messed up. up so we said, nah, I'll give her an Uber ride. So we left our son with grandma while we go and pick one or two quick things up. I was just going to go myself, but she said, eh, let's go for a ride. She hasn't left the house very much. Because we're the parents of a 10 day year old child, our fun, exciting outing is Target. I actually do want to get one thing though. I want to get a, a new coffee maker because mine is messed up and I've needed it more now than ever. I think we need some cleaning spray and yes. some that's about it. I have a pretty decent coffee maker, but it's like packed up right now because the glass pot broke. It's not something quite as high tech as this, although kind of would like one of these eventually. Sort of like one of these things where it's got like the pot, you can do a brewery and it has um, like a grinder and stuff attached. It's not the same as either of them. So eventually I'll just replace the pot and keep using that when we move. But uh, I've been using for a long time, I've been using like a French press and the French press, the coffee's just too strong. I need something basic. And so I want like a really old fashioned, super cheap one. And I've already found what I want. So check this out, ready? So we got these ninjas, this thing, nice looking. But look at this right here. There we go. Mini brew, easy on and off, $16.99. That's exactly what I was talking about. Let's see what it does. I think you just turn it on and it heats up. There's nothing else to it. Yep, power switch, so you just put water, turn it on, grab and go, grab a cup, auto pause. Perfect. $17, can't beat it. All right, let's see if we can find the wife. She's gonna be in here somewhere. Let's see. No? Where is she? There she is. Found you. <laughs> is this what we need? Laundry stain remover for his green poops that he's got all of us close. I'm also wondering if we should get this special dish. Maybe. The one we have is antibacterial. Is this one? Uh, no. Know. I think ours is better. Okay. This is what I saw at Giant Eagle. Alright, one final item here. How about some snacks for mommy and daddy? Yeah, see, these are on sale, that's what I was saying. But you can get something else. They have the baked ones too. Is that your choice? Yeah. Ski barbecue? Good. Hmm. Do I want one? No, I have some popcorn at the house still. I'll finish that. $16 coffee maker. I think that's a win. Let's go home and set this thing up, see how it works. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Our $16 coffee maker what can we expect well, it's actually slightly bigger than I thought but not too big that looks nice let's see all of the features of a $16 coffee maker here power cord power button pot <laughs> basically that's it but actually this is five cups which is like the perfect amount I'm just pour it in Standard. This is what I wanted. I wanted something very, very basic that I could squeeze in here. At the gas station around here, a large cup of coffee is like two fifty. So this is like less than seven cups of coffee for this thing. It's actually a really good deal in, the, in a world of everything being so expensive and uh, so much inflation and stuff. This is totally reasonable. So I'm going to wash it out. I think I can take this out. Yeah, I'm going to wash this. Wash this. We'll give it a go. Let's get this because I'm tired. I need a cup of coffee now. <laughs> I should have timed this, but let's just say, uh, not the fastest coffee maker I've ever owned. <laughs> I swear it's been like, it's like not even to two cups yet and it's been like 10 minutes, but for the price, we won't complain. Just observe. I ran one, I ran one uh, kind of like, what do you call it, like a pot of water through it just to kind of clean it out before we started. So, yeah, 
It's almost done actually. I think I had like two and a half cups of water in it. All right, moment of truth. Looks like coffee. Oh, that's about perfect. Well, the number two, two cups is about one cup, I guess. Let's see how this came out. Perfect, exactly what I was looking for. Just a light brew coffee, nothing too crazy. Didn't put too much in there. Doing this, having a, not only was this thing like $16 or whatever, and those cure eggs are like 60 to to $100 probably just to start. This tastes so much better and it's a lot more affordable over time to just use regular coffee like this, so. That's exactly what I wanted. I just want to brew like one cup at a time in a small little coffee maker and not have a heavy duty cleanup like my other one. It's all these different parts, just two parts, the pot and the, uh, the filter thing at the top. So I think I'll enjoy this and then we got some, a lot of laundry to complete today. I'm just, uh, I'm dragging a little bit today. This is the first day, 10 days in, that I'm getting tired. I finished that coffee. I feel a little bit better. And uh, we've got quite a bit of laundry to do. It's just been, uh, the the funny thing is we've, we've been doing laundry every single day for our son's stuff. You know, he's uh, getting his milk and his pee and everything on, on all of his clothes. So we've been doing laundry every day. But because of that, we've only been doing his stuff. So our clothes have been... <laughs> backing up a lot. So I told my wife, I said, you know what, this morning I, I got up, I said, my goal today is I'm going to do all of the laundry from uh, beginning to end. Just get it over with. So we're caught up. So actually right now, there's some clean clothes here that I have to fold, but that's it. There's uh, towels in the dryer. But really, that's that's all. So it's it's pretty much done. I've I mentioned this in some of my older videos. And uh, I shouldn't say older videos, some of my recent ones in the first few days of my son being born. My experience from watching my friends, watching uh, family members, watching coworkers who have kids, men I'm in particular, the fathers, everyone seems to have this um, confidence in the beginning, saying like, everything's going well, I feel good, I'm, I'm feeling strong, I'm not so tired, it's, oh, it's easier than I thought, and then they all hit a wall, they all crash. And it's usually about two weeks in, I've noticed this. And, uh, I, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm hitting a wall per se, but the fatigue has caught up to me today and yesterday more than it had prior to. Um, and the, the funny thing about it is the irony of the whole situation is that my, um, my wife and I have been completely paranoid and concerned because we have all kinds of relatives and that want to come over, want to see the baby want to meet him and we're so scared somebody's going to get him sick so we've been really really worried about this the whole time and everyone came over everyone was like you know wash our hands was really respectful and stuff like that and then here we go day 10 i'm getting a cold all right i got a cold like the other night i had i felt like i had a really bad cold the night before last out of nowhere and then yesterday i felt like i had a cold all day today i feel a tiny bit stuffy but i um uh, I I'm definitely feel better today than I did yesterday. So it might have just been a little 24-hour thing. Um, might have just been an irritation. I, I don't know what it was. But, um, yeah, it was funny. We are worried everyone else is going to bring a sickness in, and then I'm the one. So for the last, uh, last few days, or I should say yesterday and today, uh, I've been trying to just keep my distance when, that, when possible. And... Uh, washing my hands constantly, cleaning the house, and um, making sure everything's clean, and making sure that our son is uh, not exposed to it as much as, as much as I can. And so far, he seems fine. My wife doesn't have any signs of getting sick. Um, I don't know. So maybe it just passed and we got lucky, but it's just funny how it works out because I thought, we thought someone else was going to get him sick, and here I probably got it at the grocery store or something like that, but it's pretty much it. Um, things are going well though. Today is really funny. All the videos that I put up for the videos like this, all the, I put up 10 shorts. So I've been doing the 365 things I've learned since my son was born, which was a goal of mine to do before he came out. 
And so it's been 10 days. And the irony of it is that today, the 30th, was actually his due date. So he came 10 days early. So everything we've experienced so far, everything that's happened, uh, we weren't expecting him to come out until today. And it's just funny how that works. So in my mind, looking at it now, I would say these extra 10 days that we got are a blessing. And I, I'm, I'm so happy that he came 10 days early because it's 10, 10 more days we spent with him. And uh, I really appreciate that. So. Anyways, I'm going to finish this laundry. I'm glad I got that coffee. Uh, I'm going to be up late tonight, so that should help quite a bit. And we will uh, we'll cut you all later. And I'm going to, now that we're settling in too, I had some, uh, some ambitions around some stream live streaming that I want to do on uh, Rumble, YouTube, and uh, a few things that are coming. So it's been a uh, it's been a transition period for obvious reasons, but now that we're kind of in it, I'm going to start doing a, a bit more live streaming than I was before. Uh, well, like I was before he, he, uh, he arrived. So we're going to get back into it. So I'll catch you all real soon.